Hi guys, this time I will focus on Intel i5-4460, which is 3.2GHz and 3.4GHz in Turbo Boost. Most owners of that CPU unit are running them on default settings in BIOS. In the results, your 4460 is not really 3.4 but actually only 3.2. That boost is coming on only one or two cores at the same time and only when your CPU is not at 100% usage. So in games it doesn't really show up. I will give you some examples. Here she is, the Liberty Dome. One big sweaty armpit. Not that you'd notice inside that suit, but it's hotter than a Vindaloo in here. As you can see, none of those titles got a 3.4 boost. Now it is time to start an OCCT program which will stress this unit to 100% to see if that boost will appear. And it did not. Luckily, producers of motherboards came with a solution and I will show you how to force a 3.4 GHz turbo boost on all cars at the same time, even when your processor is under full stress. As an example, I will use the MSI motherboard B85M G43. This is what you have to do. First thing is the updating to the latest BIOS. So you have to prepare your USB memory stick and go to your motherboard manufacturer website, go find driver support and find BIOS download. In this example the newest BIOS is in version 3.9. Download the file and open it. In that case file which I'm looking for is file 390. Copy that to your USB memory stick and go to BIOS or UEFI if you prefer. Next thing to do is going to mFlash. Now update BIOS. Then select one file to update. Next is selecting file from your USB memory stick and enter. Now the BIOS is updating. When that is over your PC will restart and go to BIOS again. If you're doing this on the MSI motherboard, this is the place where you can see which version of BIOS you are running at. Now is the final step. Go to the OC tab. In CPU ratio, hold the plus button until the number 34 appears. You can't go further than that. Then disable EIST option. Press F10 on your keyboard to save changes and wait until your PC starts. That is all. See for yourself, now OCCT is showing 3.4 GHz instead of 3.2. And just to confirm that all cars are working on the same frequency, I will fire up the hardware info. All four cores are on 3.4, how about that? I was running that OCCT test for one 
hour under a stock cooler. Max temperatures is 75, so everyone can do this. All that process was not so complicated, and it's definitely worth doing. Thanks for watching and as always, leave a comment and click the like button. If you think this was useful, share that video everywhere you like so every owner of i5-4460 is able to utilize the full potential of his processor. And of course, subscribe for more interesting videos like this. See you guys in the next video.